Hello and welcome to this quick little tutorial. I am the Techie Flautist and today we are going to be working out how you can tempo sync a Logic Pro and your Boss RC600. Now there are two sides of settings that you've got to tweak here. You've got to tweak some things on Logic and then you've got to tweak some things on your pedal. So let's dive right in. First off, you need to have your computer connected to your pedal. Here you have two options. You can either use the USB port or you can use the five pin MIDI cable. I personally am using the USB because I am using the MIDI cable for a rhythm drum machine thing. So either will work with this process though. Once you've connected it, you wanna dive into Logic. So in order to quickly access the tempo sync settings, you are going to right click somewhere up the top of your screen here on the little bar and hit customize control panel and display. Then on the right hand side, right up the top, you wanna make sure sync is ticked. You then click out of that and that will bring up this little clock with a tiny little arrow next to it. You then right click on the little clock and open up the synchronization settings and you come all the way across to your MIDI tab now here you can, um, under the destination, you can select what devices you would like to sync it with. So you just sort of click on the little arrows and the one that we are wanting to use is the RC600. You then come across to the column that says clocks and you gotta make sure that the clock is ticked because that is saying that yes, it will send audio, not audio, um, tempo information from Logic to your device. And then that is all the settings you need to hit on the computer. Now, just so that you can see that they are currently out of sync, the tempo that Logic is currently playing back is this one, which is 120. So if you jump down to the RC, you will see that my tempo is currently set to 92 point something. 92.6, so they are still out of sync. So what you need to do is jump on down to your RC unit and tweak some settings. And the settings you want to push on your RC unit, first off, you hit the menu button, you go page across, then you tap on the MIDI and you go page across again. And here you have the sync output options. Now, there are a few options that you can use here. There is auto, which means the RC will automatically decide whether it or logic sets the tempo. We don't really want that because we want them to be matching. Um, there is internal, which means the RC would set the tempo. Now, the only problem with that is logic cannot be a slave, Logic has to be a master. So Logic has to be the one in control of the tempo, it can't receive tempo information, which was very disappointing to discover. So the next setting is MIDI. If you were using a MIDI cable, this is the one you would select, but I was using the USB, so I'm gonna stick it on USB. And that is all you need to do on your RC unit. Now, the only catch with this is in order for Logic to be actively sending those tempo pulses to the RC, it actually has to be playing something back or even recording. They both kind of work. So now that Logic is, well, it's recording the audio for this video, but it is essentially playing back, I'm going to tap the metronome on on Logic so you can hear our tempo. And then if I jump down, and I can tell just by glancing at it because the lights are flashing up that it's in sync and trigger the rhythm and ta-da, they are perfectly in sync. So if you're trying to record and you want your project tempo on Logic to match your project tempo on your RC, that's kind of how you do it. Anyhow, hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to do all the things that make the YouTube gremlins happy, the like, subscribe sort of thing, and I will see you in the next video. And if you are interested in like the music that I make with these pedals and all the fun stuff I get up to, then jump over to my Instagram account, the Techie Flautist, because uh, I sort of post a lot of like Look what I'm working on style things there. Anyhow, I hope you have enjoyed this little video and I will see you again in the next one. See ya.